Finally, the last part of SQ3R is to review. Review daily. Review weekly until you have the test or the quiz on that topic. For those people who are going to be having midterms or final exams, the more you constantly just review just a few moments on each of the concepts within the notebook, you're going to find that you don't have to spend two hours cramming the night before a midterm. And my suggestion for people taking midterms and finals that are on your transcripts and, and records is that if you know a, a month out what day you're going to have your midterm or final exams on, then what you should be doing is backing up about four weeks and take, say, a Monday and make that your math day for those four weeks. Every, every Monday I'm going to be reviewing math. It might be the first four chapters and then it might be the next four chapters, and then it might be the next four chapters, and just review your notebook that you've been keeping in that subject one week at a time, but you're just doing it very systematically. And if you do this, you're going to find that when you spend just a little amount of time every day reviewing and keeping things constant, you'll find that it goes from your short-term memory to your long-term memory, and it just is always there. My last bit of advice is this. There are so many tools online on the Web 2.0 that you could actually uh, make your own flashcards to help you with vocabulary. And I'm not just talking science. Yes, I'm a science teacher, but you could use this for history class. You could even use this for math class where you put the formula on one side and you put the example on the other side. If you're learning a new language, you can make flashcards with the, the foreign word on one side and what it means on the other. Flashcards are an excellent way to, to study and to review. And I tell my students this, if you can say the flashcard without hesitation, put it in the I know pile. If you hesitate even a moment, it's, your brain is telling you you don't have it 100%, put it in the I don't know pile. And what happens there is you review the I don't know pile several times a day. And the I know absolutely sure, you do that just once a day, once a week. And eventually you'll know them all and you just go over them very quickly once a day, once a week, until you have that exam. Parents, you can help students with the review process by using the, helping them with their flashcards, you know, reviewing with them, or going through their notebooks. And if they just do it, and I'm not saying don't make it torturous, don't make it a, uh, you know, a thing that people are crying over, uh, but make it upbeat, make it uh, helpful, be encouraging, be supportive, um, help them with the ones that are that they might be struggling on. Maybe you have a life experience that would help add to the meaning of that word or whatever the uh, concept is and it makes learning fun. Finally, you're at the end. SQ3R method. An independent way to be able to read in the content area and get the key terms and the key phrases and understanding out of uh, a section that you might have to read. My only advice to you is this, SQ3R won't work unless you use it. The key critical part of SQ3R, most kids will do the first three steps, survey, question, read and take notes, and they drop it there. Where this really becomes critical is that the harder the content, the more you need SQ3R. The harder the content, the more you need to recite those answers and put down uh, examples to help make it a more concrete term in your mind, a picture in your mind that you can relate to. Uh, I often tell kids when we're talking about, uh, you know, the responses of living things and we, you know, we say, you know, things respond to a stimuli. Well, what's a response and what's a stimuli? And they're going, uh, I don't know. I said, well, what happens if your older brother comes up, sneaks up behind you and puts a little uh, feather on the back of your neck and tickles you and all of a sudden you get all those goosebumps all over your hands? you know, uh, all over your arms. Well, you know, the stimulus was the feather. The response was all those goosebumps. So if you can put down a, uh, an example that makes it more concrete for you, then you'll always be able to pick out a definition or something because that image will come to your mind. So good luck with SQ3R. Use it whenever you can for any subject. And as you go up in your education, please make sure that you use it for those harder, more difficult subjects. Good luck.